Johnny Rocco was more than a king. He was an emperor. His rule extended over beer, the slot machines, the numbers racket, and a dozen other forbidden enterprises. He was a master of the fix. Jesus, I look around at that face. <laughs> Mary! Oh, no. You get out. You turn right around and leave. Oh, but Mary! You heard me. I planned for four years how you were going to see me, and it wasn't going to be like this. You get out and count to 20 and then come in again. All right, Mary. Hello, John. Hiya, Fred. God damn it. All right, okay. <laughs> Oh, shh. Oh, he doesn't make deals. I get 20 years. No, oh, but I'll, I'll take my chances with this. Oh, holy oh, God. God. And they're already choosing up sides for the next war. Who? Who's... Oh, Christ. There he comes again. Mr. Wilson, we want to show you where the, how the trap door... I screwed that up. Now, look. All who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity and spirit in the way of truth. Right. I hate myself. Well, you don't have to. Besides, it's not true. I'm not losing Karen. I hope you're right. Sam, patience and love are synonymous. And my patience is just as great as my love. You have to have a lot of patience to read this crappy dialogue. And they're already choosing up sides for the next war. Who? Who's... Oh, Christ, there he comes again. Rebecca! Dennis! God! What's all this money business? What is that kid? Get out of the woods. Let me tell you a story. It's from Tolstoy. It seems that a rich man encountered a peasant working in the fields, and he was so contented with his humble job that it made the rich man curious. He asked him, what would you do if you knew to tomorrow I'll be a son of a bitch? Why didn't you tell your mother he... Why didn't you tell your mother he was coming home? Frankly, I wanted... God damn, I'm sorry. And they're already choosing up sides for the next war. Who? Who's... Oh, Christ, there he comes again. Why didn't you tell you... Why didn't you tell your mother he was coming home? <laughs> why didn't you tell your mother he was coming home? Answer me that. Frankly, I wanted some time alone with him. Well, that's frank enough. What for, may I ask? Because the last time you saw him, you struck him and knocked him down. That's why. The father is supposed to strike anyone he's fine. I kill it. Yeah? Yeah. Anyway. I think I understand. That night in the church when I first met you, it was pretty obvious that... Oh, shucks. Got it? He admits it. <laughs> what are you saying, Frank? I believe some words. Words? What words? They went like this. But we of the United... God damn it. And they're already choosing up sides for the next war. Who? Who's... Oh, Christ, there he comes again. Watch it. <laughs> oh, shit.
With only 300 odd days left in 48, New York spinsters organize a leap year club and lay plans to trap that hard to get animal, the American bachelor. <laughs> you are all members of the Leap Year Club. Our slogan is, get a mate in 48. Now we are gathered together to discuss our plans. Girls, how will we get our man? Madam President and fellow members, I feel that we girls have all been chased for years by the wrong men. Now it's our chance to chase the right men. Let's pick out what we want and let's go after it. I suggest this attack. A good car, a good job, and then get him alone. Why, girls, we've got to plan this operation carefully. Men are no longer convenient. Why, they're with me. Oh, there, I lost it up. <laughs> Okay, honey child, try it again. Why, girls, we've got to plan this operation carefully. Men are no longer a convenience. Why, with me, they're just a plain necessity. Let us close our meeting with our cheer. One, two, three. Don't you think we'd be too crowded? Well, we can all go together. Oh, here we go. You can dance well. <laughs> this is sporting. <laughs> I like this better. Do you shave? Uh, 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 oh, uh, yes, sir. Would you like a demonstration? Oh, sure. What am I saying? Have you had much experience? No, sir. You're my first one. <laughs> Now, sit down. Not in your way there, huh? Oh, no, sir. Wait. Too tight? I'm still breathing. Well, here we go. Pardon me, my mistake. Hey. You don't mind? What are you doing here? I want to see if my insurance is in order. Sit down, let me finish her up. I only shave once a day, if you don't mind. Well, might as well take a trim as long as you're at it. How many rounds are we going? I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, but Maxie, you, 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 don't you ever 